Hey Rockler, your dust bucket, it actually doesn't suck. And that's a good thing. I'm Rick, and this... Shut the heck up, you stinking boosters. This is the shack. <laughs> Everybody, welcome. In this video, I think I admit a big mistake. I had already made a video regarding this last night while I was editing the video. Somehow, someone went in my brain tightened the light bulb and it finally lit. I think I know what the problem was. After I had built this cabinet, I used the router for the first time to make the drawer fronts and rail installed doors. When that was done, I opened the dust bucket and I was gonna clean it out because not all the dust will be sucked out of there. It will have a little bit. Plus it's new and my new router, I wanted to clean the motor stuff off just to keep it clean. Notice there was more dust left in there than I think should have been. So I started to do a little investigative work, put a light inside there, shut the door so I could see if there's any places I was losing dust suction. Sure enough, I had a major gap in the front and back. I even went as far as to call Rockland and said, what's up with this? I don't see a fix, a fix it kit or a retrofit kit or anything like that for this dust bucket. And the guy at Rockler was like, I don't see anything. Ours is sitting flush. I'm like, oh my God, I can't be the only person getting the wrong tabletop here. <laughs> so I did this whole stinking video, even spent three hours making custom fit pieces of wood to go underneath the uh, cast iron router tabletop here to fit against the dust collection bucket to seal it all up. I think that's all in vain because I think I know what I screwed up on. This isn't mounted on there, so I'm gonna take it back off and I'm gonna explain a little bit more in detail. All right, get this cord out of the way here. Get this back over top of this. Okay. think that's the reason why. Now the issue I was having with this was it wasn't lining up with I guess the grid work you want to call it the fins or whatever that are formed in the cast iron tabletop. In these pictures you'll see after I put the light inside the box I had major gap in the front and in the back. I was losing all that dust collection ability all that suction was going through there and not keeping it confined within the box and drawing all the suction through the router, router motor uh, opening itself. So I was losing a lot of the suction capability. So what I thought of last night after I did this whole stinking video, and as you see here, all this, all these shavings, check up there, I'm gonna have a link to a um, Bridge City Tool, a fantastic little planer that I got. I've never had a planer. You know, we had planers in the shop, but I personally never had one. So I purchased this one from Bridge City Tool. It was on sale for like $90. Phenomenal little planer. And I actually demoed it for the very first time. I just received it. Actually working on a piece of wood like this because in the uh, cast iron router table, where the forms are for little fins are kind of rounded and I wanted this to sit flat so I was using a plane just to put a little round over on this, you know, maybe a 45 or whatever, just take a little bit of the edge off so it would sit plain and that's what all these shavings are for. Fantastic little planer. But I did all that work in vain. I think these mounting brackets, I reversed. I didn't put them on correctly. So I'm gonna take these off, reverse them, and we'll see if it lines up any better. 
I think that's what I screwed up on. So this is what I'm thinking. When I put this on, you see the openings here, the key slot, and you pull it forward. When I set it on and pull it forward, it's off. So I have a gap in the back and I have a gap in the front. So if I reverse these, which don't look much more, but that might be enough to offset it, you set it on back and push forward to lock it in, that should take away that gap in the front and back. So we'll see. I'm going to swap these out, put these on here, set it back on there, and hopefully that eliminates that issue. Now, you see these pieces of wood. That's what I spent so much time on. I cut them to length, milled them down to the thickness to fit in there because when the dust bucket was sitting on here, it wasn't sitting on this ridge, which I think it's supposed to, was sitting off here. So I made these to set there. I was going to caulk along the inside, seal it up so I could solve my suction issue. But I think I had those uh, tabs reversed. So if I set it on and push it back now, it should go along the edge here of that router tabletop and mount right on here. And I shouldn't have that issue. I'm hoping. Yeah. All that time, you see right here, these edges, that's what I use that plane for to round that over. Excellent plane, but all that work, I think, was done in vain. So let me put the dust bucket down on here, and we'll see if it'll line up on this fin right here or not. There we go. Set it back down. Find where my screws are. Set it on there. It's supposed to be right there. Oh no, it does. Okay, good. It does fit. It lines up. Fantastic. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. It works. Look at that. Right along there, like it's supposed to be. Excellent. All right. That solved that issue. Just out of curiosity, before we go any further, I'm gonna put my light up in here and just see what kind of a gap we have here. I'm just curious. Let me get that on there. Open that up. Shut that. Wow. That's actually pretty good. So I'm going to get this cabinet back together, flip it up, because we're basically done. I screwed up. The Rockler dust bucket doesn't suck. It actually does good. Lines up where it's supposed to. I had the mounting brackets actually reversed. I screwed up. Dokey. We are back in business, all back assembled, everything looks good. Touch up the paint, painted the legs, painted stuff underneath, rerouted the wire inside. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hook up the, my dust collection, let me open this up. I want to see if I can feel any difference in this, especially in the bottom. So 
I can feel in here and I'm going to open up the bottom. So let me pop this bad boy on the back. Turn it on and we'll open it up and see if I can feel, it, feel any difference. I feel it up there pretty good. Man, that is so nice. Oh, wow. I feel good dust collection now, man. Oh, yeah. Big time. So I just want to see Oh, wow. Man, I feel so much suction coming out of there now. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. There's all kinds of suction out of there now. Well, that was it. That was it. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. I could feel a little bit before. I thought that was enough. But man, now... I could actually see my hose over here collapse when I shut the door because there was so much suction. That's why I had to put the other, um, the Incra clean sweep insert in it so it had more ventilation. Because I use this just when it's in store, when I'm using it, just so it's kind of like it's solid. And man, it, it, it was just sucking, it was hard. Now, with the, I put this on, you could feel. I mean, it, it, it pull your hand down. It was sucking. It's just, that's amazing. So, that, yeah, it, it works. Yay! <laughs> now I have the proper suction in my dust bucket. So, Rockler, your dust bucket doesn't suck after all. <laughs> that was all on me. I screwed up again. Wow. So that is it on this video. I was going to do some projects, but I got sidetracked trying to figure this part out. That's done. So now I think what I'm going to do, I think I just need to put things on hold. I got to get my table saw set up. So make sure you're subscribed, ring the bell, you're notified when those videos start coming out. Check up here, I'll have a link to the complete build and that will include this video from just naked rider table to a fully enclosed, all nice and painted drawers, poles, rail and style doors, complete. So now we can officially recheck, check this off. It is done. <laughs> yeah, I am very happy and that has got major suction now. <sighs> Thanks again for watching. Be blessed. Take back your check. I held it! For your sanity. Man, some of these little things are just Aye. Anyway, thanks again for watching. We will see you next video. That is amazing. Nice suction now, man. Yes! <laughs>